What is going on? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today I want to talk about SoFi. I want to talk about some big changes coming to SoFi that's going to be very beneficial for the customers and its investors. In addition to talk about some points to know for this upcoming week. But before I get into any of that, making sure you guys hit that thumbs up, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Greatly appreciate that. If you are new to the channel, I do daily videos on trending stocks, crypto. I do it all. So make sure you do subscribe and also pop over to my Discord link in the description below. It's a free chat, a lot of good people. And with that said, let's get right to it. So like I mentioned, there is a couple big updates coming down the pipeline and one of which is this. So as far as incorporating within their app, there is a lot of kind of coding as far as new updates that is insinuating that there's going to be a lot of Twitter feed activity now within the app. And this was all found based on Binder 9000 on Reddit. And this was also posted to Twitter by Riley. So I'm just going to give them a quick shout out. But definitely this is very beneficial, especially more and more articles are insinuating that if you incorporate social trading and social activities within the app, they're very beneficial. And especially I'm sure most of us already know a lot of the big platforms already do have some concept of as far as social activity, whether it be with Facebook or Twitter or whatever it might be. So this hands down is a very beneficial thing. And then in addition to that, there is this, this one aspect I'm very excited about options trading. So you can see again within the coding of the new update on the app, it is insinuating that there is going to be options activity. Hands down, that is very beneficial. Again, going back to the point, it is making its customer experience more advantageous. And when it comes also down to it, that brings us more revenue, SoFi more revenue and everything like that. And there is a lot of articles and websites all insinuating that options trading is at all time record highs. It's very favorable for a lot of brokers, institutions to advantage and switch over to do options. So this, in my opinion, is very exciting for SoFi. Hopefully it'll incentivize incentivize them to move forward to the next level, get a lot more customers in. And from our standpoint, from an investor standpoint, very advantageous, a lot more revenue and everything like that. So these are two updates coming down the pipeline for SoFi. Once again, I just want to give a quick shout out to Bender9000 on Reddit and Riley on Twitter as well. But quickly moving on, like I said, I do want to talk about more so this upcoming week. There's going to be a lot of big things coming down the pipeline and that is more so on the economic data front. So as you can see, these are all the major economic data events and there is some key points to watch for starting out on Wednesday. So the non-farm and employment change that in reality is going to be a big thing that a lot of people do watch for because overall for the most part the economy has stayed fairly strong largely because of consumers and that will definitely be a good indicator so you can see the previous indicator of this was at 455,000 the actual forecast right now coming up is 395,000 so they're anticipating a little bit more of a downtrend and we all know on May the 4th it is going to be another big day because the feds are going to be making a interest rate decision and then as far as interest rates concerned, I think the consensus is that it's going to be a 50 point increase. I completely agree with that as well. But I think one thing that they're going to give is future guidance, what their plans are for the rest of the meeting for 2022 and their outlook. That hands down, I think, in my opinion at least, will be good enough to cause a nice little calming in the market and a nice rally. Similarly, what happened exactly on March the 16th, the previous meeting. So definitely stay tuned for that. And then finally, to cap it off on Friday, there is keeping in line with, once again, consumers, there is the non-farm payrolls. So again, showing exactly how much money people do physically have. Once again, 380 is the forecast, whereas 431 was the previous results a little bit more of a downtrend in that regard. But with that, I do anticipate closer to the end of the week, there's going to be a little bit more FOMO kicking in for SoFi, especially I personally feel at least we're at a substantial discount. I can't believe we're as low as we are, but looking right here, their upcoming earnings on May the 10th, definitely a big thing. And if you haven't already, make sure you do subscribe because I'm going to be doing a live stream on this, giving my take on that. But again, this is going to be a very big deal and especially all their previous earnings on the revenue earnings per share. Everything has been fairly good. One big thing is that they're going to be watching for is what they are going to be talking about their future guidance during their conference call, because this is going to be the first earning that incorporates them as a official chartered bank. So that's very exciting. And hopefully they do talk on a lot of new updates on what they're planning 
to do. So again, I do strongly feel that this is going to cause a little bit more FOMO people to get in. And I do want to show you as far as one thing that I found very interesting, but I do want to show one thing to you because I found this very interesting looking at the Q4 information from 2021 from all hedge funds. There was total of 3.51 million total call options purchased by hedge funds. That is a very big deal. I don't see them doing that just for the mere fun of it. They see significant value in SoFi. This is why so much hedge funds have been buying big time. And then keeping in line with that, the new round of 13 Fs is going to be coming down the pipeline. Unfortunately, as of late, most of them have been closing out the positions, but a lot of these are fairly small fish. The first two weeks of May, that is exactly when you need to watch for. That is when the big players are disclosing their positions in SoFi. So definitely stay tuned for that. But I do strongly feel when big institutions are going to be adding to SoFi, that's going to cause another more FOMO to SoFi in reality at the end of the day. But with that, I just want to cap it off with some technical analysis. So right now you can see it is at $6.12. Again, going back to my point, we are extremely cheap. And looking on the actual chart, I have the 5100, 200 day moving averages, boiling bands, RSI, stochastic, and momentum. And looking at stochastic over the last six months, because I do have the six month chart up here, you haven't seen stochastic for this amount of period being this oversold and staying down as much as it has. Normally there has been some relief rally in some sort, but unfortunately not recently. And that's definitely going back to the point that this is extremely oversold. Right now, even despite us going down on Friday 5.12%, there is still a deviation starting to occur, which is very, very interesting. The fact that black line above the red showing a little bit more of a bullish sentiment is starting to form, which is a very good thing in my opinion. And looking at momentum, number of buyers on Friday started to pick back up a little bit. And RSI is currently at 31, extremely cheap. And the reason why I have the RSI and stochastic on there is typically a lot of institutions and hedge funds use those two indicators as far as their algorithm to incorporate buying opportunities. So RSI around 30 or lower is a great buying opportunity and stochastic 20 or lower. So we are getting to that very happy point where a lot of institutions are really going to be backing up the bus massively. And then also one thing I do want to show you as well is this. I'm a very big believer in social sentiment. So you can see technically as of recently, it is positive. So clearly a lot of people are liking this discount, especially more so from Friday and a little bit more of a rebound on Thursday. So this hopefully at least will roll over into next week, causing a nice little rally because like I said, I see some FOMO kicking in. And then like I said about the Fed meeting, I see that causing a nice little rally as well. But with all that, don't forget to smash that thumbs up, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Greatly appreciate that. If you have been buying so far, let me know in the comments below or what you think about their upcoming earnings or the Fed meeting. Let me know your thoughts overall. But if you do like my channel and support the growth, take a look at my memberships link in the description below or just hit the join button at the bottom of the screen with that said appreciate you guys watching and let's all make a lot of money on sofi